Hey everyone, how's it going? Robin here with Oracle Rising. What's up? So guys, we have a full moon coming in for August. And you know what, when I was a kid, I grew up in the country and there was, you know, the skies at night were just beautiful. So I, I fell in love with the moon, right? And just was so stunning when it's full in any phase really, but the full moon, there's just something so magical about it. So that's why I like to talk about it on both of my channels actually. So August 3rd, we have the Sturgeon Full Moon. It's also known as the Harvest Moon or the Grain Moon. So Sturgeon are this like really, really massive fish. And it's actually kind of ingrained into my local culture. You know, we have um, schools and streets uh, named after it, you know, because it's part of the history. Um, so I won't go into that, but anyway, so in the grain moon and harvest moon because that's when you can farmers i guess they could start contemplating their their crops i have absolutely no idea um so anyway august 3rd you can expect a third moon or august 3rd full moon and you can check your own region for the time and date specifically that the moon comes full for you but i wanted to talk about the five effects of this particular full moon and I noticed that the last video I did where I drew some tarot cards um, for each point was really popular. So I decided to do that again. And if you guys ever want to see me talk about something, just let me know in the comments. So I grabbed the Starman tarot card deck because that's what I was guided to do. Um, so the first point we have here for the Sturgeon Full Moon is it's a time to show your compassion and forgiveness. So I absolutely love that. Um, and you know what? Forgiveness is for you, you know, um, it's so that you can release the situation and feel better, uh, show compassion towards other people because, you know, if you consider yourself to be um, a divine creature of love and light, then everything around you is too. So it's just that people are in different phases of their growth. And I read once this really compelling statement that there's no such thing as evil and demons. There's just love and a lack of love. So, you know, to show compassion and forgiveness is absolutely beautiful. So I'm going to pull a card here. So I have the five of pentacles. So you guys could really be living in a lack of that. And maybe, you know, maybe somebody didn't show you compassion when you were growing up or in a certain situation. And uh, I think I just put my hand through a spider web under my table. So I'm gonna silently scream while continuing on with this. Um, you, hold on. <laughs> okay, it was just a hair. Okay, everybody, we're good. So maybe even show yourself compassion, you guys, forgive yourself, you know, this is a really good time to release. And if you're trying to advance yourself in any particular way, holding a grudge against somebody else, not showing compassion to people that are not on the same, you know, perceived level of ascension as you, it's going to keep you stagnant. So a really compelling card here with the five of pentacles coming in under this time to show compassion so I'd really really suggest doing that um and you might have to force yourself sometimes and that's all right you know fake it till you make it so I love this second one too it says you may experience a karmic cleansing and your soul may feel lighter so it's not a coincidence that I numbered them that way you know because the cleansing of the soul um, feeling lighter could very well come as a result of showing compassion and forgiveness, especially if the person that needs it the most is yourself. But I won't go into a long tangent about that because everybody has let themselves down and other people and been let down and it's just a vicious circle. So just to be able to not attach grudges to situations is really going to benefit you so let me pull a card here so we have the princess of pentacles so it's like you guys could be waiting for somebody to do something the princess is she's kind of similar to a page 
but she's just standing here stock still. But, you know, I feel a real connection to the higher self. You see this weird periscope thing going up here um, attached to her. And learning something new, there's characters of the alphabet in here. This is a very strange but compelling card. So you guys could feel a little bit off, you know, as if things are just not making any sense for you. And that's what's going to happen when you shift from 3 to 4 to 5D or just finish, uh, like complete a karmic cycle and you're get to play with new people on different levels. So very interesting card with that Princess of Pentacles. And, you know, she's just sort of standing there waiting. So you don't really have to do anything else. You know, just show your compassion, shine your light of love and keep moving forward. So this third point here, guys, it's a great time to indulge in an artistic project or express yourself in creative ways love it you know i know so many people with artistic tendencies and they just don't give themselves enough time to express it um you know especially with the weather getting colder you guys it might be a really really well it is here anyway um you know it's just a great time to start these things so you have something to keep you busy in the winter other than shovel snow so any hobby that you've been thinking about doing, you know, if it's paint by number or crocheting or sewing or whatever, I don't know, some guy hobby that I'm not really into, like my dad was always building or woodworking or whatever, stuff like that. So you could be really creative and express yourself. Um, you know, you could be writing, you could start a YouTube channel if that's what you want to do. You could do anything that you want to do. So let me pull a card for that. So you have the high priestess. So you're really being called to follow your intuition here. Um, you know, and she's soaring forward. So there's, I really like this because it's saying that, you know, your artistic project or hobby could really take you someplace. It could take you to a place where you're going to meet people or you could, you know, make a significant amount of money. But follow your urges here, guys. You're being really asked by spirit and the moon and you know everything above you and around you to just let go of what happened in the past even if it was just yesterday like don't hang on to things because they're just gonna it's like clogging your drains basically it's not gonna allow you to go where you want to go so follow your intuition follow the tug of your spirit your higher self is definitely watching out for you with this princess of pentacles card so, and you might feel drawn towards water, which is an incredible source of power and calm. And, you know, when I, like when I was growing up, we lived really close to, um, it was called the Miramichi River and it was massive and it was just beautiful. And then, you know, the ocean wasn't too far away. So I just... I love the outdoors. I, I love the fresh air, you know, and the moonlit sky and the power of the water. I feel very safe and at home in the water unless it's super deep and I start to get the heebie-jeebies when I think about it. But anyway, um, you might want to travel somewhere where you can be beside the water it's, or move somewhere beside the water. And that's actually my ultimate goal. Um, I live in a pretty... Well, there's lots of lakes and rivers, but there's no ocean. You know what I mean? Um, and that's where I want to live. But anyway, you may feel drawn towards water. And again, follow your intuition. You know, follow your higher self. It's taking you where you need to be. And I got this card here, which is the Nine of Pentacles. So it could be, um, you know, this is what your soul mission is, is to be somewhere close to water. And this is where your greatest... I'm getting words like ascension. This is where you, your greatest unfolding could happen for you, you know, because the water is just so compelling and so powerful. And many of you could be like even having baths, you guys, or sticking your feet in a, I don't know, you know, when you do those foot cleansing or do something, you know, have a, a shower, go to a pool, 
do whatever you can and it could really bring out plans for the future with the nine of pentacles because the nine of pentacles is really projecting wealth into your future so you could really be inspired under this um august full moon to do really new and creative things that could bring in um bountiful streams of income for you and my dog has decided to join us hello lucy hello lucy so she's right here um being fabulous i must say so the fifth point i have here is human connections seem easier and you could connect to new members of your soul tribe Whew, finally okay she's not going away but anyway you know it's so hard and on my other channel i get a lot more comments than this one um i get people commenting and emailing that they felt really alone on their path for a long time and you know struggling with the solitary lifestyle and not being understood so I think this is really beautiful, you guys, that this is coming in here. Um, you know, you could meet somebody that is a soulmate, either in a love relationship or a friendship. And, you know, finding your tribe is just so magical because it means that you've met people that you do not have to explain your heart and soul to. And nothing could be better than that. You know, having to explain what you're thinking what you meant is just torture it's painful and it feels like so much friction but you know following your intuition and your higher self and gaining more power and expressing yourself creatively it's going to open you up to these people that are a member of your star family your soul family you know and especially for those of you that have been single for a long time or really are just looking for love this could be a really good time for that. And I pulled this card here, but I'm being guided to put it to the side and do a deck cut and pull that card. So we have the Princess of Cups. So this is messages related to your emotional life. So this is going to be a really active month for bringing in just messages about what you should be doing for your future or the best route to take or the best, you know, creative product products projects to undertake so <clears throat> pay attention to messages you guys pay attention to your gut and pay attention to your dreams as well and then we've got the temperance card here so it's just like this is a very strange card that you have sort of entities coming in around temperance and i don't have another deck that shows this but there's people coming in and there's they'll be able to soothe you a little bit because many of you could be empaths and just very sensitive people or very creative and misunderstood and misinterpreted people. So being able to call in your tribe under the Sturgeon full moon is going to be just such a relief for you. It's going to feel like oh, you can exhale and feel comfortable. And I love this whole thing that I just did for you guys. And I, I hope you enjoy the full moon and get to get outside and see it and, um, find everything new and beautiful you're the next level of your life guys so i'm gonna wrap it up i'll see you another time bye